if you guys are looking for family things to do out in New York City, you guys came to the right video. What's going on guys? Welcome to an exciting video today. We just got back from a little over a week and a half out in New York City with the family. Amazing trip. And in today's video, we're gonna show you guys the best things to do with the family out in New York City. Now, New York City, arguably one of the greatest cities in the world. I actually lived there for three years, has tons that you can do. And first on this list, if you guys go out to New York City, definitely check out one of the other boroughs besides Manhattan. There's five in total. All the boroughs bring something different. And the first place I decided to bring my family when we got to New York City was to bring them out to Brooklyn. So in New York City, there's five different boroughs in the area. I actually lived in Brooklyn for about a year when I lived here, about 10 years ago roughly, and uh, absolutely love Brooklyn, love the vibes out here. It's totally different than all the other boroughs of Manhattan, Queens, the Bronx. So how are you liking the first stop, babe? I love uh, it. Yeah, this is so crazy great. This is beautiful. So this is like an awesome, famous spot for bangers. Obviously everyone's getting their photos. Now I just went over two things that you can do, head out to another borough and also get pizza when you go out to New York City. Grimaldi's was one of my favorites, one of the best out in New York City and one of the originals. Wow, I haven't had this pizza in over 10 years. You guys excited? Yeah. I am. Oh my God. I'm gonna go wash my hands now. They're known for the, like the freshest ingredients in all of Brooklyn on their pizzas. Grimaldi's, typically there's a crazy line out the door but you can see we came a little earlier for dinner. All right, taste test. Mm. Brooklyn Bridge Park is like an iconic spot you have to check out. Incredible views, you can see they're filming or shooting something. A lot of movies and everything was shot right over here with this scene. You got a little carousel right out there. And there's tons of awesome food, restaurants all around this area. Dumbo is the name again of that area right over there. You got Brooklyn Bridge Park. Guys, definitely check out Brooklyn. I love Brooklyn. Another thing to do on the list now is check out a museum. Now there's tons of museums out in New York City. If you know our kids, we love ice cream. So similar to Chicago, you guys have to check out the Museum of Ice Cream. Ali, where did we make it to? Museum of Ice Cream, New York City. You guys ready? They have five or six different locations in total, and when you're out in New York with the kids especially, we're back at the Museum of Ice Cream, just like out in Chicago. A lot larger than I thought. This is awesome. Now for the next thing on the list, if you guys love good Chinese food, somewhat authentic, really, really good Chinese food out in Flushing. However, if you have to and you're in the city, at least go to the one in Manhattan. So yes, guys, when you guys come out to New York, definitely check out a Chinatown. Uh, my favorite one, personally, is out in Queens, out in Flushing. However, we made it to the one out in Manhattan on Canal Street, which is the main street or the main stop on the MTA. What's up, Ali? Is it raining? It's raining. <laughs> and yes, it's raining right now out here in Chinatown, but we made it to 
Jung's dried beef, which we're picking up for my mom. And once you get off the train, you're gonna know you're in Chinatown. But once you see all like the fake sunglasses, the fake purses, uh, there's tons of souvenir shops and everything. There's tons of good Chinese restaurants here too. Uh, so we're gonna get some lunch right now. Rachel wants a Peking duck. I think we're gonna have to wait like an hour and a half for the dried beef. Nothing like a big bowl of one-ton noodle soup with yellow noodles. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Maybe you got the exact same thing too. Yeah. Bon appetit. Yeah. Bon appetit, guys. My father likes Father likes So I used to come to Chinatown as a kid with my family and I would get the exact same thing with my dad. Let's try the one-ton noodles. Delicious. I like anything that's yellow. It is. This is delicious. Mm. That's not ours. <laughs> yeah. But again, yes, this is the famous Chinatown out in New York. Again, personally, my favorite one that more locals go to is out in Queens, the very last stop out in Flushing. But if you want good Chinese food, this is the place to go. Tons to do out in Chinatown, tons of awesome food. For the next thing that you need to do, if you need to burn off that food, is check out the iconic Central Park. Central Park is that giant park right in the middle of Manhattan. There's tons of activities that you can do. Unfortunately, the day that we went, it was a little rainy. So guys, welcome officially to rainy Central Park. Typically when you arrive here first, you're gonna be greeted by people that want to charge you to take you around the park in carriages. Uh, a lot of the times it is overpriced, be polite, say no, but this is the iconic Central Park we're at right now. We got the fam right over here. It is really, really cloudy, so we're gonna do a quick run through the park. There's like some new pickleball court area right that way. And besides pickleball, there's tons to do in this park. Uh, tennis courts, uh, they have the Central Park Zoo. The park is absolutely massive. And again, there's tons of different parks out in the city. We were actually in Brooklyn Burbs Park just a few days ago, but Central Park is the main one you wanna check out, especially in the summertime. Just sit around, relax. You can really soak in the New York essence and New York vibes in Central Park. <sighs> Love this park. Tons of movies are filmed in this park. Uh, Merry-go-rounds, baseball diamonds. This is the park to check out, especially when you come out to Manhattan, at least for a day, at least for an hour. Hopefully the rain goes away so we can stay a little longer. There's a Didi just got stung by his first bee ever. Oh, you okay? I'm okay. All right, well, look up, look up for the bees. Look up for the bees. Oh boy. Now real quick, I wanna bring you guys to the sponsor of this video. It was the very first welcoming out in New York City, Conrad Manhattan Downtown. Such an incredible stay. Thank you guys so much for our first four days out in Manhattan. Every single room in Conrad is a suite, so you definitely will have space when you guys go out to Manhattan. And we're actually given the family escape where you can book another suite for only $300 per night or a children's suite. So Meaty had his own suite with two beds. Conrad was absolutely incredible. This is super spacious, uh, very luxurious. The food was amazing. That looks good. This steak looks so freaking good. Wow. Wow. Cheers. Mm. One of the best steaks I've ever had, honestly. So good. And after that incredible meal, dessert time, we're lining it up like we're shooting it. <laughs> That's BD. That's, That's her. Rachel's mommy's. There's mine and there's. This is so much space for New York City. Oh my goodness. And this doesn't even include our connecting room yet for the kids. Ah, this is amazing. Honestly, back when I lived in New York City about 10 years ago, I've been to a couple hotels, I believe, in New York. Nothing this big. Typically, the New York room isn't this spacious. And wow, Conrad, downtown, everything is a suite in this building. This is incredible. 
And if you guys are looking for an awesome stay, especially first day when you guys get out to New York, definitely check out Conrad, New York City downtown. They're gonna be a good one. Now for the next thing on this list, especially if you guys have kids, check out the very first toy store in the entire United States, FEO Shorts. And tons of stuffed animals, stuff for the kids. It looks like there's an upstairs. Oh my goodness. So the main one, or the original one, again, was right by Central Park at the previous area we were at. However, this one is right at Rockefeller Center, and um, time to explore a little around FAO Shorts, the new one. Oh my goodness, they have a Build-A-Bear workshop here. Oh, of course they would. <laughs> this is awesome. Ooh, you wanna do it? Maybe, maybe, we'll see, we'll see. French Passion Pie, show it to everyone. <laughs> you have a cute little baby in the carriage, so cute. So it looks like Minnie Mouse, you know? <laughs> this is still the first floor. This place is huge! Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, like drones for kids. Magic. <laughs> oh my god. Meaty, this is your favorite area. Of course they have. Candy area. What? This is cool. Iron Studios. One more time, one more time, one more time. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> we have all the putty and lolly found any once. Meaty's got what he wants, he's gonna get a drone. So the FEO Schwartz is amazing. They have so many people who are just interactive with the customers. It's not as big as the last one, I believe, but still incredible experience, especially with the kids. Now the next thing you can do out in New York that I highly recommend, a ton of my friends didn't realize you can do this, go jet skiing in Manhattan. Amazing experience, you can actually kill two birds with one stone on this list. Uh, definitely go jet skiing, check it out. Looking good, meaty. Yeah. Looking good already. <laughs> All right, you guys, so for the next activity or activities, it's two in one you're gonna get. But for the first one, when you guys come out to New York with a family, maybe not with the little ones, but Meaty has been old enough for the last few years to ride a jet ski with me. Yes, you can ride a jet ski all around Manhattan, uh, all around the New York City area. At least we're gonna follow our tour guide. I didn't know you can even do this. I think there's four other companies you can do it. New York City jet skis is one of the best ones, supposedly. I'm gonna put a link below. Come out to Jersey. I actually met them out in Jersey at a park in Bayonne, uh, right behind me. There's Brian right there. Let's go, let's do this. You ready, matey? Let's go. Yeah. Woo considering checking out the Statue of Liberty with the kids, but we figured Ollie's a little too young to check it out. Uh, I knew it was on this tour. What do you think, Meaty? It was really big. <laughs> it's, really, <laughs> it's really big. Epic. Now we're gonna jet ski around the city a little bit more. We're gonna show you guys around Manhattan. I think it's a financial district. This is such a cool tour, guys. This is such a cool tour. Woo! Ready to go? Yep. Let's do it. Brooklyn Bridge. We haven't fallen in yet still, but made it. Brooklyn's across from us, Manhattan's behind us. We're literally right under the bridge. This is the bridge that you can actually walk across uh, into Manhattan. I believe you can walk over both of them, but this is the main one. And this is such a cool experience. You can see the Freedom Tower right past the bridge. If you walk across it, I believe it's Chinatown. And um, what an epic morning, what an epic day. It only took about 90 minutes so far, even getting content, checking out the Statue of Liberty downtown. But yeah, we're gonna enjoy this a little more. This is so much fun, Brian. Woo! We love it, such an experience. 
I'll be honest, I was super nervous about falling. I was super nervous about flipping the jet ski in the Hudson River, but overall amazing experience, especially being able to check out and just go right up to the Statue of Liberty. Definitely highly recommend it. I'm actually gonna put their phone number below so you guys can call them and book it yourself. Now, one of the last things to do on this list, when you guys go out to New York City, definitely check out an observation deck. Uh, and I've checked out multiple ones, but the one we checked out was Summit One, and one of the nuanced ones, I'd highly recommend. Check Grand Central, Summit One. So guys, one of the musts when you come out to New York City, especially with a fan, is check out an observation deck. Uh, I've been to a ton of them. One of my favorite ones is the Empire State Building. I worked at LinkedIn, and we had an office in there, so I can go up whenever I want. However, we're gonna check out the Summit one, which is one of the newest ones since I moved out of New York about 10 years ago. All right, so enter Grand Central Terminal, and then go down. Thank you, Meaty. Now tickets for most of these observation decks or observation towers are around 40 to 50, 55 dollars per person. Uh, we found Trip.com, this is not sponsored at all. It was the cheapest prices. 130 for the whole family. This is a whole experience. Everyone okay with flashing lights? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you're okay? Thank you. promote this area on social media so much. Ali finally woke up. It's a room full of balloons. I think Central Park is that side. This guy's loving it. <laughs> there's a third floor too. So apparently there's a bar up here and you can go outside. Another reason to check Summit One out. What? This is awesome. Pretty cool experience. Two floors, different things to do, super interactive. Summit One's not bad, guys. Definitely check it out. Do you recommend Summit One? Do you recommend Summit One, babe? Do you recommend an uh, observation deck? I mean, I definitely do, but I'm trying to spot my face in the cloud right now, which I am not spotting my own face. Now overall guys, there's tons you can do in New York City besides this list alone. Walk around Times Square, just explore, soak it all in. Would highly recommend at least a full week with your family. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a like or smash the like button. Again, comment down below on other family activities that you can do in New York City, let's say. And uh, hit that notification bell so you guys are notified for the next videos. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next vlog series, a very new one on a brand new continent, brand new country. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers, guys.